If you're looking to grow your Instagram account in a real authentic way with organic followers, then I've got seven tips for you on how to get your first 1000 followers and obviously beyond that as well. So whether you have a small online business that you're trying to grow and you're trying to use Instagram for that, or maybe you just want to build an online presence for yourself um, and kind of monetize in an influencer type of way. So through sponsorships and um, brand deals, things like that, then this video will help you out to kind of get started and grow that audience. So I know the algorithm can get a bit frustrating and it can feel like it's against us sometimes. Um, but if you know kind of a few things to work around it, then um, you can really grow on the platform in a real way. So let's go ahead and get started with the seven tips. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to switch to a business account, or I think you can do this in the creator account as well. So if you just have a personal account, you won't have access to this. But if you switch to a business one, you will have access to insights, which are super valuable, especially if you're trying to grow um, and if you're trying to kind of build your own little business on Instagram. So the way that you do this, I think it's on the top right corner um, of Instagram. You have these three little um, dots or lines if you click on that you go to settings and account you will be able to switch you, you will have an option there to switch to a business account if you haven't already so once you do that you will start to see insights on each of your posts and you can also see insights for your entire audience and this will give you a lot of um, info on where your audience is from what age they are um, what they're interested in, um, when they're most active on the platform, um, and just a lot of things that can really help you um, narrow down your kind of strategy for Instagram. My second tip is to find out your best time to post because there's not one best time to post for everyone. It really depends on your own account, on your own audience, um, and obviously also on the time zone that you're in. So the way that you do this is you can go into insights now that you have access to those and you can see um, when your audience is most um, active on Instagram. So obviously what you will want to do is to post during that time, like when you see a peak, that's when you want to post or maybe even a little bit before that peak so that people, um, when they go on Instagram, they can see your um, posts because it's really important um, to get the most engagement within the first hour or so um, of you posting that picture um, because that really helps it boost. It helps it get a higher reach in hashtags later as well um, and maybe even get on the explore page. So definitely find out your best time to post. Like for example, my one, I think it's around 5 to 6 p.m. Um, London time. That's the time zone that I'm in. Um, but yeah, again, it will be um, different for everyone. So do find out your own best time for that. My third tip, which is a really useful one, and this is how I have grown my own account, is to use good hashtags. Um, and what I mean by this is you really need specific hashtags that are not super populated. So I will go into detail on what that means. But hashtags can really help your account get discovered, especially in the beginning when you don't already have an audience to you know, really engage with your um, content. If you can get ranked in hashtags, then you will get access to um, an audience that will then maybe go ahead and follow you if they like your content. So the way that you use good hashtags, for one, you need to find out the hashtags that are uh, banned. So if you go on a hashtag, um, there will be a notice if it's a banned one. So make sure not to use this, um, which is why I recommend that you do your own um, research on your hashtags. So don't just copy paste from someone else. I mean, you can get inspired from someone's account if they have kind of a similar niche to you. Maybe you can find some hashtags that you could use as well, but do make sure you click on that hashtag um, and go to that page um, for the specific hashtag and have a look to see if it's a good one or not. If it's banned, don't use it. And then the second thing about hashtags is you don't want to use oversaturated ones because um, if you use ones that have like millions of posts, um, in that hashtag, then your post will not be seen. And it's kind of pointless to use that, especially if you're just starting out. Um, if you have a big account, you can obviously use those because you have a higher chance of ranking for them. But if you're just starting out and you're trying to build those first a thousand followers or the first few thousand, maybe you want to um, try to get to 10K, you definitely want to use less saturated hashtags. So what I mean by this is you click on a hashtag and you will be able to see at the top how many posts there are for that hashtag. So that kind of gives you an idea of how popular they are. So again, if you see millions there, don't use them. The way that I have grown my account is I have used hashtags that are usually between 10K and 100K um, posts. So that's the size that I aim for roughly. Like obviously you can go maybe a bit higher or a bit lower um, if you feel like it's a hashtag that's really good for your niche or um, for your audience. 
but you definitely want hashtags that are not super um, saturated. So 10K to 100K is a really good spot to aim for. That's what I have tried and that's where a majority of my um, followers come from actually, is from hashtags, that's how they find me. Um, so that's a really good way to um, start growing your own account. Number four is use a theme for your um, feed or maybe use some presets that you like that can really help you um, create a cohesive look. Now your feed doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to be like it will never be perfect and we're our own um, kind of worst critics. So we will never feel like it's perfect and that's fine. It doesn't have to be. Um, and I feel like especially these days people are starting to appreciate more um, people who are real on the platform. You don't need it to be perfect, but you do want it to kind of look pretty. Like Instagram is a very visual platform, so your aesthetics do matter. The way that I edit my pictures is I use the Lightroom app on my phone, which is amazing, it's free. Um, and if you need presets, uh, what presets do basically, they're just the same settings that you will use on different pictures. So they will kind of make all the pictures look um, similar or like a similar um, color or a tone, which is really great if you're trying to achieve um, kind of a cohesive look on your Instagram feed. So if you need some presets, I actually have, I think, five free presets on my blog. So I will link those down below where you can get them. They're free, um, free to use and a lot of people like them. I think there's been like 50,000 people have downloaded those presets and they really love them. So if you want those, um, again, I will link them in the description box. But um, you can also create your own or you can buy them on Etsy, for example. I have my own Etsy shop as well with more presets if you need more options. But um, yeah, presets are really good for this and they will help you get that aesthetic look um, for your Instagram account in, uh, with a lot less effort. Tip number five is to post frequently. Now I said frequently, so that doesn't necessarily mean you need to post every single day. Um, this, I think you used to work back in the day, but nowadays I feel like you don't need to post every single day in order to grow. Um, and what I have noticed is it does help to stay consistent, like, um, and it, it helps in two ways. So the first way, um, it helps your audience know to come back and see your posts and also the algorithm kind of learns when you post. So if you post, say, um, three times a week or five times a week, let's say Monday to Friday, um, for example, at a roughly the same time, then obviously the algorithm will know and um, the, your audience will start to know that. So it does help if you can stay consistent. And in order to do this, I batch my content and I schedule my content and I teach you exactly how to do this in the Instagram glow up kit. Um, if you're interested in that, if you need help with that. Um, but yeah, that's how I create my content and how I stay consistent. So the first thing, it helps your posts get a higher reach, get more engagement because people will know what to expect from you and the algorithm will know what to expect from you. And the second thing that will happen when you post frequently is you will start to notice patterns and you will start to notice posts that do better than others. Um, because for example, let's say on my um, feed, I post fashion, like outfits, um, I post home decor, and maybe uh, pictures with me and my toddler. Let, let's say those are the three main categories of pictures that I post. So once I post um, maybe every single day or every other day for a month, let's say, I can uh, see which types of posts perform better. So for example, if I notice my home decor posts to do really, really well, then maybe for the next month, I will focus more on those rather than pictures of me and my toddler, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how I make my own strategy. So do pay attention to the posts that do well and try to figure out what it is about them. Is it maybe the caption? Is it the picture? Is it just the theme or the topic in general? So do look at your insights and do look at your top posts and try to kind of mimic that. I don't mean post the same picture over and over, but just kind of do um, more posts on that same topic. Number six is to be social because at the end of the day, um, Instagram is a social media platform. So you do need to be social. And what I mean by this is um, respond to the comments that you get, always reply to them as much as you can. Um, obviously it can get harder to do the more you grow, but in the beginning, it's really easy to reply to everyone. If you get DMs, reply to those, have meaningful conversations and start conversations yourself. So you can do that by, for example, putting in your Instagram story a poll or kind of that question box. Um, and then when someone replies to you in that question box, you can DM them and kind of start a bit of a conversation um, from that. So that really helps because it shows the algorithm that 
you are engaging, um, you obviously have an audience that cares about you and your content. So um, that's really, really helpful to do. And my seventh tip for you, which you probably saw this coming, but it's Instagram Reels. I know not everybody likes this and I feel like they can be a bit intimidating to start with, but they are definitely worth it. So I have started doing Reels on my main um, Instagram account, which is like a fashion motherhood kind of lifestyle one and they have a really good reach and then I also started doing them on my um, second account which I just started like weeks ago I think it doesn't have a lot of followers yet so I literally just started it I think it had maybe 80 followers or something like that but the reach on my um, Instagram reels on that account I think it's um, over a thousand per reel. That's amazing that you can do that with a new account um, because with regular posts, you definitely do not get the, that high reach when you are just starting on a new account. So I would highly recommend you do reels in your niche. Um, you don't have to talk on them. You can just do the voice mimicking type of thing or you can just do, you don't even have to do a dance. Um, it, it doesn't have to be that intricate. Yeah, I highly recommend you incorporate reels um, in your strategy as well. So those are my seven tips on how to grow on Instagram fast and how to get those first um, 1000 followers. So I hope this helped you. Let me know how many followers you have at the moment and kind of what your strategy is to grow. I would love to hear from you in the comments and give this a thumbs up if it helped you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.